Yo, it's Death for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Whatever it is that I did to try and help, you guys ultimately still did all the work. You guys still decided to stick to your vows. Let me remind you, through thick and thin, for better, for worse, sickness and health till death do us part. We can say a lot of things, but we can't say that you ain't got a real wife over there that's really got your back because she's still with you. Ponzi scheme, stealing all this money from all these innocent people, that ain't got to do with me. What you did behind her back with the one, with the two, with the 10, that ain't got nothing to do with me. See, you're a manipulator. You're a gaslighter, and you're also one of those great undiscovered actors. What does that mean? How the fuck are you living a double, triple life? And your wife, who is completely innocent and sweet, had no sign and no indication whatsoever that she was out doing what it is that she was doing. You had to be one of the baddest I've ever known to cheat on your wife ever I mean you nice with you ain't leave a trail of popcorn down the hallway at all hats off to you <laughs> let's unpack this last thing one of the other things that was mentioned well two of the other things that was mentioned and then I'm done There were nights that Tyrese called me. This is what your wife said. And I'd be on the phone and we'd be talking about topics and things. And my husband would be laying in the same bed right on the side of me. Really? I'm on the phone with your wife, and you're in the same bed laying on the side of her. What man, what real man, would let another man be on the phone in any capacity if I actually disrespected her? If I actually flirted or did anything that y'all accused me of doing? What did I say and what did I do that was inappropriate? to where if it's so disrespectful and, and inappropriate, you cross the line, need to box your mouth. You, like, that was that was the most gangster I've ever heard in my life. You're, you're a comedian, dude. There were nights that me and Tyrese was talking and my husband was right laying in the same bed. So you, I've already allegedly violated you as a man, as a husband, and I violated your wife, allegedly, right? I crossed the line, I disrespected, I flirted, I went from trying to help, and then I turned it into something else, is what y'all are saying, right? How the fuck are we still in touch five, six years after God used me to step in and do what I did? It ain't adding up, bruh. And Y'all ain't got no responsibility to me. Y'all ain't got nothing to do with me. I am not in business with y'all. We have no friendship and no relationship where y'all would have to say, he crossed the line, he flirted with you, he disrespected you, he said this and he said that. But don't worry about it. We're not going to say nothing to him about it. We're not going to confront him about it. I'm not going to have my husband to call him and... I Nigga, what the fuck you talking to my wife and coming up and saying this? Saying, you know why you never said anything to Charlemagne about me flirting or disrespecting allegedly? Because it never happened. You know why you never called me? Text me? Confronted me? About what I said and did? Supposedly? Because it never happened. I'm going to tell you what really happened. Cause you're not the sharpest nail. 
You're not the sharpest knife in the drawer, Mr. Envy. I'm gonna tell you what really happened. After you was exposed on your own breakfast show about leaving me for dead, not calling, not checking on me, you and your wife could have flew to Atlanta, your wife could have pulled my wife to the side, and you could have pulled me to the side, and y'all could have attempted, keyword, attempted to step in and help us when my world and my marriage and my shit was crashing and burning. The choice you made was to make a mockery and laugh at my shit while it was all going down. And that wasn't a choice that I made towards you. And then when you got confronted about it on your show, you grab some red out of the sky and say, across the line, I disrespected, I overstepped. I violated, and yet we're still on text chains for the last five, six years. And yet we have been on calls, all three of us. I would say a minimum of 10, probably 15 times. I'm on the phone with your first lady, which I've always called her from the beginning because she is your first lady. I'm on the phone with your first lady. I was like, Oh, that's crazy. I say, do me a favor. Can you can you get can you get Envy on the phone? She would always click over, you would answer, and we would talk. Where is the violation, Envy? Where is the disrespect, Envy? Where is the me overstepping and disrespecting anything that's got to do with your wife, Envy? Where is it? Be consistent, bro.